Homeowners in Johnson County are still cleaning up after Tuesday night's tornado. Some are dealing with extensive damage to their homes now as well. Reporter Emma James is live in Lenexa where one man is trying to figure out how to move forward after learning about a heavy price tag to fix his home. This is what Brandon Smith's home on Haskins Street in, Len in Lenexa looks like. You can see several large limbs broke off of this tree in his front yard, collapsing onto his home. Thankfully not crashing through the roof, but as you can see, still causing a major inconvenience and now thousands of dollars in damage. It was a great tree too, a lot of shade. Now that tree nearly covers Brandon Smith's entire home. He says it's been a rough few days. That's right over my bedroom, so I can't really sleep there. So I'm sleeping on the couch for the last couple nights. The cost of repair won't be cheap. Smith says his normal deductible is $1,000. However, his insurance company tells him because they classify this as wind damage, his deductible is now 2% of the total coverage, bumping it up to $5,700. He worries now that he's filed a claim, his insurance will go up even more, and he won't get help from his insurance with the damage. Uh, the reason I have insurance is for when disaster strikes. I am only out of pocket what the deductible is. For tree removal and home repairs, he estimates he'll have to pay around $4,000. It's going to cause me to have to obviously pay a lot more money, and it's going to take away from other things I'd like to do to my house or you know, just general paying the bills and, and things like that. Smith and says he wants others to be aware of exactly what's in their insurance policy and hopefully learn from his experience. You know, it's, it's quite, a, quite a burden. Smith tells us he's hoping to get these limbs removed tomorrow. He says while this is, of course, a huge inconvenience and will likely cause him to have to pay thousands of dollars, he's just thankful no one was hurt. Live in Lenexa, Emma James, KSHB 41 News.